Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will learn about combined operation in Excel. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. So, if you're a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now, without further ado, let's get started. So, for example, uh, let us imagine that you wanted to create one single cell for all the employees in your company which stores the first name, second name or last name including their email IDs at one place, right? If you want to do so, like, let us, let us, let me show you how it looks like. So, let me copy this here. Then that's the first name. Now, it's your second name along with the email ID. Now let us imagine that you wanted to store all the employees in the same way, right? So you can do this by using combined operation in Excel. Now all it takes is just a simple formula that is equals to and the first cell address that is A2 and you can use an ampersand sign. Now you can use the next cell reference that is B2 and then colon and the last cell address that is e2 now press enter so when you press enter or tab you will get this particular answer but this data is completely uh, in a state where you can't understand it right the first name last name and the email id has got combined all together so you want to use some spaces right so all you need to do is just make a little modification to this particular existing data so you can press another ampersand and include spaces and then you can separate the email id and the name with some colon so now we have separated the first two cells that is the first name and the last name with a space using the ampersands and then again we have used an ampersand to include the colon and see that we have also included a space between the colon marks that it gets separated cleanly and now let's try to press tab and see the result so there you go the first name and the second name is separated by space and the email id and the complete name is separated by a colon now you can use this to all the cells and there you go all the first name last name and the email ids have been printed here so that's how you use the combine operation in Excel. I hope this session was informative and interesting. If you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.